the winter is coming at its end and I want to show you um, the job, the work with the dog and with the horse. I noticed already that the dog, Duco, the German Shepherd, has a big influence on the horse and probably you will not be able to imagine that it's true but I want to show you with this small movie which was more coincident that the horse definitely calms down because of the dog. This is a moment when the horse uh, goes out of the sand place and has the possibility to drink something so he can calm down. After that he comes back in and I decided to watch his hooves which is also a job of every day. I like to work with free horses so they can choose to be with me. They can walk away and they can choose to be with me. This is a horse which is very fearful, which walks away for humans. And Mr. Tibor doesn't have any problems, you see. So my goal is to let the horse decide for himself to be able to be with me. And I have to really create. I can also see the winter time really did me some good. <laughs> I have to create it. I have to make sure that the horse calms down, that I can do the things I want to do. So I'm trying to um, lift his hooves and check out. I, didn't, I forgot my, my scratcher. So I take a stick and I just scratch on his hooves a little bit. If he stays eating, and you can see that he does, that's a sign for me that it's pretty. he's pretty calm. He's not really calm and you will see that in a few seconds when I put the hoof down and he will um, not trust me. You see, now he's walking away. Wow. Now Mr. Duco, the dog, is coming. He's helping me. He's really helping me and the effect of this dog is amazing. I have to be careful and he can only do this when he's calm and when he's, um, well, his mind is clear. He's totally focusing on the dog. You see Mrs. Pibbles is a small dog too, but Duco is 100% with the horse. All he wants is help me. And I think it's pretty amazing because I noticed that this dog has, um, I have to protect him, has the capacity to, to, well, he has the same instinct, of course, like all animals have. And he is very self-assured and very clear about what he wants. And if there is no fear, he will not bark or, or yell or shout. If there is fear, you will hear him. You, you, will, you will hear him bark or, or calm the horse down. And the, this horse really calms down because of the presence of the horse. I'm checking the face of the horse because that's a very important part. I'm asking the back legs. And, and well, horse people know that the back legs are pretty dangerous. Uh, horses can kick very hard and they can, well, so they're pretty dangerous. I listen to the dog. I don't see him, but I listen to the dog. If I hear the dog, uh, here I see uh, the, the dog is going lying down. If the dog is making sounds, then I know there is tension. But at this moment, the horse is calming down because of the presence of the horse. It would be, of course, a lot better if the horse would still eat. And I'm walking backwards, so the horse can run away if he really wants to, but he has this connection. Connecting with humans, connecting with animals, and being able to listen to all the senses so specifically makes you realize how small the signals are and how specific you can be if you just say, draw attention. If, if you, if they, um, how do I say this correctly? If you look at it, if you listen to it, if you really are together with the animals. My movements might might see uh, might see, seem very very normal, and I'm not making a big fuss of anything. I'm just being together with them because my only goal is to make this horse more comfortable. That's the same what Duco does, and that's what I al also think is very important. Calm down in the presence of humans. So when I'm ready, I I give him something. Tibor notices right away. And then my job is done. Then for this moment I had a good time and I thank all the animals for being together with me, helping me.
It's nice, isn't it? 